Everyone might have a different idea of what jazz sounds like, but in reality, it takes many forms. Brian Bricko, director of Penfield High School Jazz Bands. The jazz really has become, um, in a way, it's a lot like um, visual art is. You know, jazz to the listener is going to take on a different meaning um, from each person to each person. Just the way a painting is going to affect each person differently. But perhaps most simply, jazz takes the syncopated rhythms, call and response, and blues scales from African music and blends it with other traditions from Europe, like its instrumentation and song forms. But almost a full century after the first jazz was ever heard, it's still alive and well. For us, it's, our motto is take jazz further. And really what that means is going out and engaging with this music. So we often, and we often promote people who are alive, who are coming to your town or can come to your town, as well as the younger folks who are creating music today. Jazz 90.1 is a community radio station with mostly volunteers in the middle of their Jazz Appreciation Month pledge drive. Derek Lucas is the music programmer. They play the legacy artists that have inspired millions. You know, Herbie Hancock, Charlie Parker, John Coltrane. I go back to that list again. They, 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 it's kind of like... The, these artists get rediscovered with every generation. And that to new artists that are still making great jazz today. We like Snarky Puppy, for example, really captured a whole new generation of listeners and they brought them to the music of jazz through their. But what is most amazing about the swinging sonnets of jazz is that that intersectionality that was there at its origins is still there today. And it still helps the music sound proud. You are going to listen to rock and roll. You you might listen to hip hop music. You might listen to um, you know country music, um, contemporary pop music. That all is informed by some of the things that were happening in early jazz music that stemmed from the 20s and 30s. So and jazz is all about that, making people feel happiness and joy. And oftentimes, even back in what, the 40s or 50s, where people would not come together from different backgrounds, would for jazz, and that still happens today. Dan Gross, News 8.